Have you ever wondered what sets millionaires and high earners apart from you? I went looking for the answer and I got to ask 25 six and seven figure earners this question. What mind shift help you earn more money? See, it's not just about the business you start or how hard you work but it's about the way you think. And today I'm going to give you the three most common answers I got from that group of 25. Let's explore these three transformative mindset shifts and get your earnings skyrocketing. But remember, before we dive in, no one is immune to feeling like a fraud sometimes, even them. We all face imposter syndrome, so our first shift is about overcoming it and believing in your true worth. I'll never forget how amazed I was when I discovered that six and seven figure earners, a lot of them struggle with imposter syndrome, just like me. So it was no surprise when I asked these 25 high earners that it was the most common response we got that they had to overcome imposter syndrome in order to increase their earnings. Heck, I remember when I got some of my first big major marketing clients sitting there all nervous thinking, oh my gosh, I sold them on, on something. What if I can't perform? What if I'm not as good as I said I, I was? But doubting myself, what if I don't get them any results? And I'm sure you've never said anything like this to yourself. That's the imposter syndrome in action. But remember, you've earned the right to be here. Your skill set brought you here. And everybody faces that little voice gnawing at them, telling them that they don't belong here or they're not good enough or they're not going to be able to do it. But the real entrepreneurs, the real high earners, the real money makers I've learned over time are risk takers. And often, you know what that means? Accepting the job, even if we're not 100% sure we can do it. You build the plane while it's flying. That is the difference between the people who are stuck at a lower level and those who go into higher earning. Now let's talk about pricing your work. Charging an hourly rate might seem like the way to go if you're stuck in the imposter mindset, but it's time for a more lucrative approach. Let's talk about value-based pricing. Take, for example, one of my first clients that I was charging them hourly to work on their marketing. So I was charging them what I thought was a premium rate at about $40 an hour. But the truth of the matter is, it was only taking me about four hours a month to do the keep the campaigns running and to do the work that they asked for. But when I started looking at the math, that every client that I was bringing them in, and monthly they were getting at least one, had a lifetime value of $3,000. I realized that I was undercharging them. So my new approach was to go back and ask for a $500 a month, and then on future clients, a $1,000 a month retainer for me to do that work. It didn't matter that it only took me four hours of work a month. It was definitely worth the $500 or the $1,000 versus the $150 they were giving me for the same amount of work. Think about it. If every time you gave me $1,000, I gave you $3,000 back, how many times would you give me $1,000? And here's the next game changing mindset shift. You have to start thinking like an owner and not an employee. I have coached hundreds of business owners that started their own company and all they really did was create a job for themselves. They didn't start a business. To truly master this mind shift change, I'm going to recommend that you guys read The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. It's a book that explores the idea of moving from technician or employee to business owner. One of my favorite quotes from the book is, the purpose of going into business is to get out of it on your terms. And this book will inspire you to see that your work is not just a job, but a company where you bring the value to the table. Like I said earlier, it almost didn't feel right for me to charge what I was charging because the work seemed so easy to me, but it's because it was my area of expertise. My clients had no idea how to even go back into the Facebook ads manager to set up a real campaign. They only knew the boost button. They didn't know anything about creating emails or copywriting or headlines or calls to action or any of that stuff. So all those years of me developing that experience, that expertise is the value that I brought to the table. That with what the E-Myth talks about, elevating your mindset to not be an employee or just a manager or, or a technician, but being able to take charge and lead the direction of the company is a mind shift change we all need to make if we're going to grow our companies, grow our value, grow our brands, 
and become high earners. Well, that's it, folks. Those are the three mindset shifts that you need to work on. But wait, there's more. If you're eager to explore more about mindset and finances, mindset and improving your life, then click the video that's on the screen right next to me. Until next time, hit subscribe, share, like, help spread the word, and I'll see you again soon.